A Holmes County Central High School student wasn't able to make it to his graduation, but his principal held a special ceremony and gave him a gift he'll never forget. You graduated recently. Happy graduation. But you Thank had a different type of ceremony than all the other kids, and I think it was a little more special to you. What was it? It was, it was kind of special to me. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I did something different other than from, uh, from the other kids. I noticed at the graduation that he wasn't there. I took him down to the counselor's mm -hmm. suite, my dad, and the counselors uh, and, and our answers, Clark and, and um, Ms. Banks, that all of us say, you know what, let's give his own person ceremony. So um, uh, it's about four, we took about four or five pictures, but just to see that smile, you know, like, uh, basically made a, 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 a summer day into a, 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 a special day for them. So that, that was great. You graduate, and then usually what everybody says is, what are you going to do next? What was your plan I had first? plans on going to college. I wanted to go to college either way it go. I was going to go to college, but I just ain't, I ain't know which one. Because the ones I had in mind, I went, I went doing, no, I was doing research and stuff on them, but I just, my attention wasn't just going to shoot the college first. You know, I had to take care of this and take care of it. But I'm glad I'm going to college, though. So I like to get away. So what did we do on that day? And we, I filled out, I filled out a, college, a college application. We did have a college application, and our emphasis uh, clerk, her son went to uh, Lincoln Tech. So when we started talking, he told me he wanted to be a welder. So I, and I knew that her son was a welder right now. So I took her down there, we filled out the application, we called to actually a mission officer that same day and got him accepted. Uh, matter of fact, we, uh, we completed his financial aid, what about last week? Mm -hmm. Last week, we, then we filled out a, he had to fill out some more paperwork. We just finished that actually about, what, five minutes ago? <laughs> we just finished some more paperwork five minutes ago so he can leave. Uh, he's on a waiting list to leave on June 27th, June 27th, June 28th. So I'm going to take him down there so he won't have no excuse. I'm paying for everything. He, so he won't have to worry about nothing. I mean, you really don't have to. So why give the time to one student? Why is he so special to you? Honestly, uh, <laughs> I, honestly, when um, I say this, it, uh, as an educator, it, you are morally and ethically, uh, it's your job to make sure each and every child has an opportunity to success. And when you're from Holmes County, uh, uh, you, you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that every child, especially every male child, African-American child, uh, uh, you want to make sure that they have an opportunity because far too often when a grad kid graduate, you know, we just, they, they gone. And he knows how I am. I'm very hands-on. I want to know what you're going to do. So I'm from Holmes County, born, bred, raised. So... Anytime a child makes it, we all make it. Anytime a child fails, we all fail. But it's all, it's all works in the end because when he comes back being a welder and he's only going to be 20, 21, making 20, 20, $25 an hour starting out, then he's going to take an hour until he's going to take me to dinner on his first check. So I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get it back. <laughs>